So this power world shadow beak power build is something you really want to do while it's still possible. The actual OP part about this is only possible now due to a glitch. As soon as that glitch is fixed, unless they add in another way to obtain said skill, this won't be possible. So do this while you can guys, and it results in possibly the best power in this game, which you can have then on forever. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and before we go any further I'm giving away a couple of copies of any game of your choice including Power World. To be with a chance of winning simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with those notifications turned on. Good luck. So in this game there are many many abilities or skills on those pals. These you can breed into other pals, you can pass these on. Many you can farm from those skill fruit trees and apply them from there. But there are skills in this game that are exclusive to certain pals which you cannot get anywhere else. And the one we check out today guys can only be applied elsewhere through that breeding. But it's only possible to do so right now because this skill this ability on this certain pal only drops on a certain tower boss. This means guys we need to use that tower boss capture glitch to grab this tower boss. Yep, when this is fixed, when power world eventually fixes, the possibility to get this skill I believe will be then gone. So the ultimate end goal of this video and what I'll guide you through is having a shadow beak which has this unreal skill on it as well as the 4 best passives you can get for the ultimate end game OP non legendary pal. And again today guys I'll run you through everything you need to know to get this exact pal. Now this won't be an easy job, it will take a ton of breeding, obviously the ultimate end goal is that super OP shadow beak with that one unique skill, but you're probably going to go through hundreds of shadow beaks guys, I mean check this out now, these are just my spares and repairs, yeah it will take a lot of breeding but it's definitely worth it for what in my opinion is probably the best non legendary pal you can actually achieve in this game probably one of the best powers in the game altogether. But firstly we need to use that tower boss glitch to go and catch Victor and Shadow Beak. How this is done I will explain in a second. Now the reason we want to catch this tower boss is because this tower boss and its Shadow Beak has an exclusive skill on it that stupid OP called Dark Wisp. Now as far as I'm aware this is the only place you can get this, there's nowhere else in the game this drops. It's only available on this boss. This means if you catch this tower boss, you have the ability to pass this on through breeding. And I will explain how that does and doesn't work with said tower bosses in a quick second. Firstly, you want to catch this tower boss. Now, if you don't know how this is done, it's quite simple. You first need to attack a friendly NPC so you get that wanted status on your screen. This can be done anywhere where they are those friendly NPCs, but I recommend you head into the small settlement found right here on the map. Once you load in here guys, attack any of these NPCs and then simply just fast travel to that tower bus seeing where I go right here on the map. Now once you enter this fight you will notice that you are still wanted and the NPCs chasing your ass down will enter the fight with you. From here guys you want to try and get the NPCs and the tower bus to attack each other but you do not want to attack either of them so do this by running between the two and hopefully they fire off a shot that hits one or the other. Once they do guys 9 times out of 10 the tower boss glitches out and runs into the corner. From here guys you simply run up to it and throw a sphere at it, doesn't matter what sphere it is it will always come up with a 0% uh, capture rate but you'll capture it either or so it doesn't matter. So throw the sphere at Victor and Shadow Beats back, I think this may be needed and then you have this in your collection. Again they come with this dark wisp ability which is incredible. Now that we do have it guys it's important to note, when it comes to brooding tower bosses, every combo you have seen on those online calculators is false besides one calculation. If you breed said tower boss with same said pal, they will result in being the same said pal. For instance here, if we breed Victor and Shadow Beak with a normal Shadow Beak, you get Shadow Beak. Any other form of breeding will result in I believe a Chickapee. Which by the way I do recommend you doing after this setup is done because that Dark Wisp skill can pass down so we can indeed use this on Chicopee at a later date and possibly add it onto other pals if needs be. But yeah, reading Victor and Shadow Beak with another Shadow Beak will result in a Shadow Beak egg 
but it doesn't end there guys. The skill isn't a guarantee, so numerous breeding between the two will possibly be needed unless you are super lucky and get it first time. But wait, before you even do that guys, before you breed these two shadow beaks together, you want to make sure you have the best shadow beak first with the ultimate passives to make sure that this skill when it lands is as deadly as possible. This means in my opinion, having a shadow beak with the passives of Musclehead, Ferocious, Legend and Lord of the Underworld. What these do are as follows, Musclehead will give you a 30% increase to that attack power. Yes, it takes away from work speed, but that isn't needed here. We then want Ferocious, this gives you a further 20% attack damage. We then want Legend, which gives you a further 20% increase to that attack and a 20% increase to defense, as well as a 15% increase to movement speed. And then lastly, Lord of the Underworld will give you a further 20% increase to that dark damage attack. So yes, these are the four passives you must have. But this is where it may get a little confusing. The Lord of the Underworld passive only comes from Necromus, the legendary world boss. There is no other way in getting this, but Necromus also comes with Legend 2. That's two of the four passives we need straight away, which is definitely a bonus when it comes to passing these on via breeding, as you probably well know. So we will eventually need a Necromus within our arsenal to even get this set up. But firstly, we worry about the other two passives first, which actually can come on any pal. These are Ferocious and Musclehead. Now we need a mating pair of pals which have these passives on them. Now for me, the fastest route to the offspring we want would be one parent with one passive each. Problem is, passives seem really random and although they do and can pass down, getting what you want exactly is harder than you may think. Okay, so what we are looking for here, guys, is parents. And we need parents with one of these passives each. The best route in doing this that I could find is a Sparky and a Relaxorus. So, yes, firstly, you want to go and grab that Sparky. Yes, the little electric fella is easy to find, easy to catch. Get as many as you can until you get one with either Ferocious or Muscle Head on them. Or if you're lucky, you may land one with both passives on. But yeah, that's extremely lucky. Once you've achieved this guys, you want to go and get yourself a Relaxorus. Again, you want to look for the opposite sex, obviously, and one which also has the passive on you need, in regards to Musclehead or Ferocious. Once achieved guys, breed these together until you get a Relaxorus Lux with these two passives on it. Shouldn't take you long, but if you can, you want to try and land yourself a Relaxorus Lux with these two passives on it and nothing else. It may be a long shot, but if you've got the spare cakes, you may as well try this. Now from here guys, you need to get yourself a Necromus if you don't have it already. Now this world boss is a part of the pair, but it's only him we need to catch at this moment. Again, he has the other two passives on him as standard Legend and Lord of the Underworld. Two very, very important passives to this setup. Okay, so once you have this Necromus guys, you now want to breed these two together. The Relaxorus Lux and the Necromus. This guarantees you an Astagun baby. Now breed these until you get the Astagun with all four passives on it. No excuses here guys, you need all four passives on the Astagon, it's an absolute must. Now you have this guys, I mean you can always try and breed a second of the opposite sex, so we have a main pair with the same four passives, that's perfect. But yeah, once you have the Astagon with all four passives on, we now need to pass those passives onto a Shadow Beak. And the only way to do this guys is to breed Astagon with a Kitson. Now the Kitson, luckily enough, is an easy breed. The parents of Brisbolt and Lambo guarantee you a Kitson. Jolt Hog and Relaxorus guarantee you a Kitson. Gobfin and Serpent guarantee you a Kitson. Rusher and Penking guarantee you a Kitson. Lifmonk and Beacon also guarantee you a Kitson. There are many, many combinations you can use here, but you need to get yourself a Kitson. <laughs> Now once achieved people, now you want to continuously breed that kitten we just made with that Astigan until you get a Shadow Beak baby with all four passives. Eventually it will happen, but it's an absolute must. And don't worry about the other Shadow Beaks people that born and are useless because we'll use them for infusion material later on. But eventually guys, you will get that Shadow Beak with said four passives. This again is an absolute must for this setup. 
Now, when you eventually do, you have the perfect shadow beak to now breed with Victor and shadow beak to now hopefully get that baby shadow beak with all four passives and the dark wisp skill. Keep in mind, if the Dark Wisp skill isn't there when that baby Shadow Beak is born, I don't think you will ever learn it. So keep breeding away until you get this. It's definitely worth it, people. And eventually, you will get that Shadow Beak with all four passives of Lord of the Underworld, Legend, Musclehead Ferocious, and the Dark Wisp skill. The ultimate, ultimate endgame non-legendary power everyone needs in their life now odds are when you're doing this and when you're breeding trying to get that end goal result you will obviously hatch tons and tons of shadow beaks now if you can create other mating pairs let's say for instance the passives are shared between two parents and let's say one of them has that skill we're looking for i mean you can always mate these two together and see if you can get the offspring which has the complete set Within my breeding, I actually ended up having about four or five mating sets just to try and get the one ultimate endgame shadow beak as you're seeing on screen now, guys. All of these mating and breeding sets right here, guys, can give me the possible outcome, the one I'm searching for. So yeah, it's craziness. From here, guys, there's only one thing left to do. Level this bad boy up. This means getting it to a level 50, obviously, and then using the Statue of Power, leveling up here, and then using the Power Condensation Machine. Yeah, for sure, another 116 Shadow Beaks will be needed here to fully levelize and maximize this Shadow Beak, but you'll probably be halfway here already by the time you achieve this initial Shadow Beak. So yeah, do what you gotta do. Ultimately though, you will have one of the best powers this game can offer for sure. And keep in mind, it'll be rocking a skill that won't be in this game, won't be available forever. As soon as they fix this glitch, it is gone. And there we have it, guys. The ultimate guide in getting the ultimate pal. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.